In this 3 minute game review, we're looking at Mana Finder. So hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. Mana Finder is a lo-fi turn-based JRPG where you play as an exile that is forced to survive in a beautiful but dangerous wilderness, finding precious mana stones that keep the ferocious beasts at bay. The game may not have the most cutting-edge graphics, but the huge variety of pixel art for all of the NPCs and monsters more than makes up for it. There is no voice acting, and although the sound effects are repetitive, the 8-bit soundtrack is catchy and does a good job differentiating each unique region in the game. When it comes to gameplay, Mana Finder is what you would expect of a typical JRPG. You explore a world map, picking up items and harvesting various types of resources for usage and crafting, such as herbs and plants for healing, mining elemental ores to imbue your weapons, or mana shards to cast spells in the heat of battle. Battles take place over turns where you can choose to defend or attack with a specific weapon, spells, or use items and ores to either heal a party member or boost either your physical or elemental attack or defense. There are plenty of biomes and regions that you will travel through, and each region has a huge variety of different types of monsters and resources, so there will be no shortage of enemy variety. Exploring and learning about the natural world, as well as the beasts that you encounter, is crucial to gaining an edge over your enemies. As every enemy has particular strengths, and weaknesses against certain types of weapons or elements. Enemies also have unique attack patterns that can be manipulated to your advantage. Sometimes, all it takes is a simple conversation with an NPC to learn something new. Other times, it's about paying attention to the story or the environment. Or sometimes, you simply just need to try and fail before learning from your past mistakes and trying again. In between adventures, you may choose to explore the settlement of Mana Finders, to meet new characters, take on new side quests, play simple mini-games, or simply go to sleep and pray to your gods in order to level up. Choose between a wide array of either defensive or offensive upgrades, depending on which god you choose to pray to. Mana Finder has a lengthy and intriguing story, and although the story is mainly a linear one, there are some key dialogue decisions later on in the game which will affect the progress of the plot. Not to mention, the story and gameplay elements tie in with each other to some degree. Mana Finder may seem like yet another JRPG clone amongst a sea of RPG Maker releases this year. The base gameplay format is nothing new nor groundbreaking, but the combination and synergy of the elemental system, the huge variety of resource harvesting and crafting mechanics, coupled with the RPG skills and character building, all intertwined with its storytelling, has led to some of the most fun that I have experienced with a JRPG in a long time. I would definitely recommend Mana Finder to fans of JRPG games who don't mind a lo-fi presentation. If you're craving for more turn-based games, check out our Top Picks playlists. Otherwise, like and subscribe for more 3-minute game reviews.